my phone ran out of storage so if this is your first video of me hi nice to meet you welcome to my channel please like and subscribe um i'm gonna continue with what i would just was just saying though what about the way there like let's say you're going on a hike and you can't wait to get to that spot and all you want to do is get to that spot but then you get there and you're like okay we're here and it's not even that great anymore or it's not that it's not great you're excited you got to the spot but like what about the way there did you enjoy it what did you see sometimes it's the journey it for me it is the journey that is the most exciting and best part of wherever you're trying to go you have to remember to take time and be mindful and enjoy the present because the present is a blessing and you're blessed to be alive so just try to remember that when you can't wait to get somewhere or you can't wait till something is over with and you can't wait to this spot you just wish you could fast forward don't can imagine click would you want that you're gonna miss so much of life if you're just worried about what's coming next there is beautiful things that are still here that you can still get i'm gonna um pull some cards the last cards just to end your reading on um what's your outcome if you keep working hard so it's basically clarifying are <laughs> all the cards i already pulled but the chariot as soon as the balloon quits the earth it is subjected to the influence of many circumstances this is the ride you guys talking about the journey there as soon as the balloon quits the earth it is subjected to the influence of many circumstances tending to create a difference in its weight argumenting or diminishing its ascending power Let me see what the fuck a quill is. Sorry. I can't. 222 two, two on the clock. I don't know how I saw that. I cannot see right now. Because that's someone's number. It's important. Okay. You know what, guys? I don't know what quills are. I do. I do. Quills are feathers. Air. Shit. Yeah, this is just um, saying everything I just was saying. The person that was in really toxic and devilish behavior that was deceiving, that wants to come out of deceit, it's come out reversed in both, is when you walked away. You walked away from all this 3.03 on the clock. Okay. What is our viewer right now? Who are these beautiful people's outcomes? Wait, what the fuck is that? Okay, flames. Um, guys, I shouldn't have pulled this deck. I can just do the cards, though. What's coming in is your counterpart. 333 three, three on the clock. I loved her with a love more fervent than I had believed it possible to feel of any dungeons of Earth. Guys, that's, like, really beautiful. I just like, I think this person is talking to the moon. I got that um, song the other day and I haven't heard it in like years. So I don't know why it came up, but like, it just, I see this person like going up 404 on the clock and they're just looking up and they're like talking to the moon. You walked away and <sighs> this person could be on their way to come get you <laughs> or find you 414 on the clock. Um, I just got a lot of energy. Hold on, I feel like, whew, nauseous. Um, one second, I'll just pull you guys an oracle card to end it. But you are ending as the empress, which is amazing. So like 444 four, four on the clock. You're coming out of the Empress. I'm gonna grab a regular deck real fast just so to see your guys' outcome, okay? <laughs> I know you guys want that.
the outcome for this situation, um, the person that, you know, did all this betraying to you, it's just basically clarified now in all the cards, like the third party situation, how we got a hollow victory. Um, they were juggling and this person was bored and ungrateful with the things they had in their life and they do want marriage and this equal give and take with you now and I keep getting marriage over and over again and like kids but you have to be wary like from deceit in the past too like if something just doesn't feel right then you should trust your intuition like keep practicing it and don't let anyone treat you like in the last video, this is what I said. How would you treat the person you love the most in life? How would you treat them? Hopefully good, but however you would treat this person that you love the most in your life, that's the way you have to treat yourself. Always remember to respect yourself. Don't put up walls, but put up boundaries to make sure you're not getting walked all over and something like this doesn't happen to you again. All right, I'll come back soon and, um, I hope everyone has a really good day. If you guys have any questions or you want a personal reading, the information is in my description box and um, we can talk about pricing. I know it's tough right now, so.